pace behind the flock, letting the nimbleness go out ahead. Whereupon the others follow, not realizing that all along they are being directed from behind. May I take the pleasure of requesting our esteemed principal, Reverend Father Vijuskarya Siyan, to address the gathering. Esteemed Chief Guest, Mr. K.G. Vishwanathan, Reverend Father Sandro Ipurian, the campus of India, Reverend Father Peter Martin, the Dean of Academies, Father Esteban Thomas, Vice Principal of the Pondicherry College, Fathers and Sisters from Laguna de Ingalwadi, esteemed staff, sisters, respected parents, dear friends, and my dear beloved graduates, a very warm good afternoon to one and all. At the outset, let me congratulate the graduates. They are ending one phase of their life. School life is over. Supposed to be a responsible degree student soon after now. And on this occasion, I just don't have anything new to tell. I remember a story. Of course, one of the most common. But then I would like to repeat the same. It's about a pencil maker. A pencil maker once created a bunch of pencils. At the end of it, he told to the pencils, I have five advices for you today. You are going to the market now. You are going to be on duty from tomorrow. And I have five advices to give to you. And the first advice the pencil maker gave to the pencil was, remember, you alone cannot do anything in your life. You need to be held by someone. You need a hand. My dear graduates, remember, in your life, as you go out, never think that you can do everything by yourself. Always, I request, I uh, entreat you, always hold the hand of God. We need the presence of God. Life is so much of, you know, so much perhaps going to be a lot of uncertainty, uncertainties over there. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. None of us knew what it was about pandemic earlier. But it has spoiled your two years, maybe. Maybe the most beautiful life, time of your life. So we don't know what's there waiting for you. Hold the hand of God. Endorse yourself in the hands of God. And second advice, the pencil maker, the God given to the pencils. My dear pencil, remember what is more important is inside you. What is outside, the paint, the color, everything will go. But what is important is deep inside you. My dear children, my dear graduates, I know you so much, I take, you take so much of pride in your beauty, in your color, dress, hairstyle. Some of, for some of you, cutting the hair is very difficult. This is a school. People will not remember your hairstyles. They will not remember the color. They will remember just one thing, what kind of person you are, what is inside you, your basic personality is more important than anything else. The third advice that the pencil maker gave was, my dear pencil, you have a chance to correct what you have written. My dear children, there are a number of mistakes, there are so much of struggles that you are going to face in your life. But don't worry, you have a chance to correct yourself. You have a chance to take a different choices. There can be failures, there can be problems, there can be wrong ways that you have taken. And it's there that your personality will be depicted. The fourth advice the pencil maker gave was, it, he told the pencil, my dear pencil, every now and then, but don't worry, it will make you a better pencil. My dear children, 
You can never count life as a comfortable one. You can ask your parents, you can ask your elders how the life is. They will have a lot of sorrows to share, a lot of struggles they have undergone. There are a lot of person to face the challenges of life, to face the struggles of life and to go ahead with all enthusiasm. All the painful experience that comes maybe from various occasions, various individuals, don't, don't lose heart. Go ahead and you are going to win. And the last advice the pencil maker gave was, he told my dear pencil, the only duty that has been entrusted to you, whatever be the situation, you leave a beautiful legible mark wherever you are asked to write. It may be rough places, it may be beautiful paper, it may be colored paper, leave a legible mark, my dear children. Leave sweet memories in the life of everyone with whom you come across. Allow the people to experience the sweetness of you, your behavior, your, your character, and that will always, every place you work, every place you study, and in the mind of every individual with whom you come in contact with. And that's, that's going to be, you know, living a sweet life. And we remember great personalities, not because, you know, their color, creed, nothing, because of the sweet memories they died left in the life of many. My dear children, on this occasion, I know you have missed the beautiful time. I have a request to, maybe as a principal for you for one year, I just have a request for you because I just want to meet you once more. I want to just meet you once more, all of you together. Not now, I want to meet you after 25 years in the year 2047. I hope we will come together maybe on the same date, March 11, come together and have a same proposal and toast and the same similar experience. Of course, at the time you won't be in this size and shape, I know. Maybe some of you would look like some of your teachers, isn't it? Sometimes fat, sometimes bulky, sometimes grown, grey hair, sometimes no hair. <laughs> but it's nice to remember how you would look after 25 years. Forget about your outlook, what kind of person you are, that alone counts. So, I propose a toss which would go for 25 years from now. 2047. Hope to meet you all then. Have a wonderful life ahead. God bless you all. Thank you.